Oh, it's going. Right. to me methylated spirit stove. This is gonna go into my camper then. That goes into the look that goes into the little box where I do my cooking. That then goes down to the back. It goes through the wall. So there's the wall goes through there, up there to the ceiling. So when it runs out I can get another bag, fill it up and swap it over. It's so simple. Alright alright Paul alright this is what I use when I go when I have to live in my camper van. Uh, oh, hello, Ollie. Well, yep, just adapting my my methylated spirit stoves to living in me um, my camper van because I can't afford to live at home. So, and also the fact with this stuff, methylated spirits, if you pass it through a loaf of bread, you can drink it. That's what the Russians told me, and that's what they said during the Second World War. Right, it's working. Right, I can put that anywhere I like. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's, it's pissing out there because I haven't got a rubber seal. I've got to get a rubber seal on it. So I'd better turn it off now. Ugh, before I blow myself up. Oh, oh, better. That's it. I've got a rubber sword to go on there, so there'll be no problems. Alright, it's working. I can now, when I go away down to Portsmouth again next week, I can, um, this is what I've been doing me, me egg banjos on. And me bacon grill sandwiches. And me coffees. Alright, because when I had that on it, you didn't know how much you got left. And uh, I got caught out one day by um, doing an egg banjo and I ran out of fuel. We're all pissed off. But now, never run out of fuel again. Alright then, now the scary bit. Oh. Right, that's it then. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to finish it and try and upload it. And then I'm going to stick this on some civvy sites to upset them now. Because I like upsetting some civvies. <laughs>